Hi, and welcome back to another RC Worst video. Today we're talking again about the Aranko MVP control panels, and specifically we're talking about the logo controller that is inside of the MVP control panels. This is actually the second part of the video series where we're going to talk about the demand dose mode of this panel. The demand dose is indicated over here, so we've got time dose mode equals off. So by time dose being off, this panel is set to the demand do dose settings. So first things we want to do if we want to talk about adjusting the parameters of this panel is go down to the parameters. And we learned in the last video, which you can find in the description below, but you simply press the down button until you see the flashing date and time. And then you can press the escape key to access the actual parameters. And in program, press OK to go forward, OK to enter the parameters. And then there's only going to actually be a couple of these parameters you can see there's a whole list of different parameters here that we're going to go over between this video and the time dose video, but with the demand dose panel settings, you really only got three to worry about. So you've got the high level alarm delay, which by pressing over you can enter this menu, and you can adjust the delay from when the float the alarm float activates to how long it takes for the alarm to actually sound. Now this is nice to be, uh, this is a nice feature in this panel that you can adjust this and the main reason that you would want to adjust this is to avoid nuisance alarms. So in the instance that your alarm float maybe goes off once in a while when you're draining that large jacuzzi tub or something along those lines, you want to avoid your panel going off into an alarm condition so you simply go in here and adjust these parameters accordingly so your pump system can catch back up. When you're going to actually adjust the settings, you press OK once again and you get the flashing little uh, indicator there to tell you that you are in edit mode. Now by going over, we can adjust any one of these parameters. Now it's currently set default five minutes. This is minutes is indicated by the M. Now we can go to this and change it to hours or seconds or minutes. So that's really easy and straightforward as far as how to adjust and program that particular setting. We'll go down the list here to the other that actually applies to the demand dose setting, which is going to be the minimum runtime of the pump. This is nice to help your pumps to achieve a minimum runtime so that it can prevent the pumps from rapid cycling. So this is a very nice feature that is not standard in an electromechanical panel and it's going to really help prolong pump life by giving you an optimized minimum runtime. Now this can be increased or decreased just the same as the alarm delay. You can adjust it from minutes to seconds to hours and so forth. Default is uh, 30 seconds, I do believe. Yeah, th uh, 30 seconds. And then the last and final thing that applies to demand dose is this time dose mode here. And this is where you cycle the time dose mode on and off. And that's done by pressing OK and up or down. And now when we go back out of this menu and back up to the very top of the menu here, we can see that time dose mode equals off. And that's that last and final parameter that we are adjusting today. So if you're running your panel in demand dose mode, there's not a whole heck of a lot for you to concern yourself with parameter wise. So if anybody has any questions on this basic video, feel free to leave those in the comments below or reach out to our customer service team. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.